Hey, you guys. Yeah, you. Good morning. It's 6.28 a.m. on Friday, August 19th, 2016. Um, it's, it's that time that I said, and I just got up. This is five more minutes. Um, I feel sneezy right now. Not like... Not like I'm sick, but just like I, you know, got some sort of foreign particles contaminating my sinuses at the moment. Um, so, yesterday, I decided that the time had come that my, uh, see, my, my lease isn't actually up for another couple of months here, uh, in, in, uh, uh, my apartment, and yet I've been getting all sorts of little notifications from the apartment, uh, you know, the management company saying, oh, you know, you've got a renewal notification, it's coming up. I'm like, okay, all right, well, I'll check it out, I think I'll stay here. Um, and then, uh, so I'm looking at doing the little renewal through the website, because I'm thinking, that's easy, I don't have to talk to anybody. And yet, I'm all set thinking to myself, well, I think I'll just go ahead and do one, you know, if, if I have a choice, I'll go ahead and do another 12 month or maybe even a 15 month if the price is better. But then when I go to do that, what I realize is I also have the option for a seven or eight month lease instead of 12 or 15 or whatever. And those are actually less per month than the longer ones. Which has got me kind of suspicious. I mean, right now my lease schedule is not on the... It's not at the times that it would... Uh, more typically be and so that's one of my thoughts is that they kind of want to encourage me to to get on that schedule but I don't know I'm just I it's it feels strange and I you know so I'm not sure what's going on there like I, I'm concerned that if I were to do the seven month lease and pay less per month for that, but then when the time comes and I have to renew again, what if it's so much more that I would have actually been better off with the longer lease at the higher rate? Are they trying to trick me or something? I'm suspicious. I'm not sure how much I'm suspicious and how much I'm just confused because it seems bizarre. But uh, for sure, I don't want to deliberately sign up for a longer lease at a higher rate just for the hell of it. Uh, so, I mean, because it seems to me like that's the whole reason it's supposed to work the other way is that longer lease is less flexibility you know you know if you needed to move sooner than that you would have to cover that amount but if you but a shorter lease is like it's more convenient it's more flexible but you pay more per month for it just like if you wanted to go to month to month that would be even higher and yet to change up that mixture, it's got, it's kind of a weird little, like, it's like, it's like the equivalent of the check engine light. It's like, what's, what's going on there? Something is out of the ordinary. And so you know what this means? It means that I couldn't ask my question through the website. And I had to wait. I'm going to have to wait until office hours today and call them on the phone.
It's going to be okay, though. It'll be all right. I've I've talked to people on the phone before, so kind of know what I'm in for. Now, what the actual answer to the question will be, who knows, although my guess is that if this was all a secret attempt to screw me over, you know, lure me in with a, uh, a low rate just so they can jack up the price, then um, they're probably not going to say that. What they'll say is like, well, I don't know, it's just the computer's telling us what the number is, I don't even know why. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, I will report back with what I find out when I talk to you tomorrow for five more minutes. Bum, bum, bum!